everyone, Dr. Melissa here, and today we are going over quick but effective ways to strengthen your glutes and pelvic floor. Basically a quick butt lift, and who doesn't like that? All right, go grab your mats and let's do this. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. But before we get started, if you happen to have a yoga block or you could go ahead and grab a pillow, if not, I've got you covered. Let's get started down on our backs. And you're just gonna scoot those feet back in towards your sit bones. Take a couple of gentle breaths, breathing out to the side. We wanna be really aware of what's going on in our pelvis. So we're not gonna be tucking underneath or not having big arch in our back, that neutral pelvis. Make sure you're feeling it in the booty today. Okay, we're gonna take the breath out into the sides of our rib cage. And then on that exhale, we're gonna push our hips, lift them up, lengthen through the thighs, and just notice what you're feeling. As you're exhaling, like you're blowing out candles or blowing through a straw, maybe we feel that lower abdominal, and then drop it back down. Try to spread your toes. Exhale, press those hips, lift up, and then back down. Checking in to see what muscle you're feeling, because we really wanna feel it here, and these lower abdominals. Use your breath. I'm gonna show you a couple different options that you can play around with this one. If you're like, yeah, great, I feel it here, awesome, keep it up. If you've got your pillow or your block, maybe you take that and put it between your knees. And as you exhale, squeeze the block, lift up, and then bring it back down. Exhale, squeeze and lift, and then bring it back down. Do you feel equal weight in both of your feet? Can you keep your pelvis nice and even? Use that breath. Nice, gentle breath. Exhale, we lift. Keep your neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. Keep focusing on squeezing the block as you come up. Toes are nice and relaxed. If you're feeling it more in the back of your thighs, those hamstring areas, lower down and scoot those heels back in towards yourself. Just firing up those glutes. Good, we're gonna do five, four, three, two, Last one, awesome job. So this is an option to continue along with this. The other one we're gonna come into a little variation is if you bring your heels together and we're gonna have our knees pointing out to the side, squeeze your heels together, lift those hips, feel it in your booty, inhale, drop it down. Exhale, squeeze and lift, inhale, back down. Just gently using your breath, moving in and out, squeeze those heels, lift and then bring it back down. Gently moving in and out. Notice if you feel it one side versus the other. I have to make my left side think a little bit more. So I really emphasize that exhale and make sure I'm pushing into my left heel. So if this isn't feeling great, you can always go back to that first option that we started. It's just waking up this beauty. Nice work. We're gonna do five more just like this. Press the heels and lift. Four, three, two. Nice job. Last one, we're lifting it up. Now we're gonna do little tiny pulses, squeezing at the top. We're making sure we're not tucking that tailbone underneath. Neutral pelvis, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, lower down, Whew. feel those booties burning. And then just gently rock your toes in and then rock those legs out. Rock your feet in and then bring them out. Next one, coming back into a bridge position. We'll scoot those heels in towards your sit bones. And we're gonna press our hips lift up. Option is to bring the right leg in towards your chest or keep a toe tap down until you build yourself up to bringing this leg in. If you're bringing the leg in, we're gonna hug that leg in and do little pulses with that left leg coming up and coming down. You can grab behind the back of the knee, you can grab the front of the knee, and then again, this is always an option, that little toe tap so the left leg is doing most of the work. We're trying to keep our pelvis nice and even. And then bringing this knee in towards our chest, make sure that our back isn't helping out to do the work. Keep pressing into that foot, spread your toes. Use your exhale. Nice work, keep pressing, lift those hips up. Good, we've got 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Lower back down and then we're just switching sides. So we're pressing into the right foot, toe tap with the left, or you can bring that left leg in toward your chest. We're pressing into your foot, lift the hip up and then bring it back down. Does one side feel easier than the other side? Well, how's the control? Do you notice a little more shaky shake on one side than the other? My left is definitely my harder side. Keep pressing into those feet. Spread your toes, keep your neck and shoulders nice and relaxed. Nice job. Use that breath. Keep up the good work. We're gonna do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Lower everything all the way back down. Take those legs out and then just roll them in and then roll them out. Nice, gentle breath. All right, let's keep it rolling. Come into tabletop, prop yourself up, coming onto those hands and knees. We're gonna take your left knee, keep that knee bent, press into the top of your right foot, lift that leg up, bend your knee, peel your hip open beside you. Then so you're gonna take that leg and tap it behind. We're gonna bring the leg back in toward center, come down onto your right forearm, and bring that left leg out towards the side. Press yourself, come back up. Hips are nice and even as you drive the leg lifted up and then open the hip like you're taking it behind. And then bring it back down, come onto your forearm, bring the leg out to the side as you're exhaling, feel it in that lower abdominal. Open the hip and then bring it back down. Nice job. You might go a little faster than I am, a little slower. You wanna be careful with the upper body. We're not dumping into that low back. Use your breath. Nice job. Five. Four. Three. Two. Nice work. Last one. Good. And then we'll come back up. Just switch to the other side. So neutral pelvis, press into the tops of those feet. Take your right knee, keep the knee bent, lift the hip up and open. Drive that heel behind you. Slowly bring it back down. Come onto your left forearm, out to the side. And then back up, lift the hip up and open. And then drop it back down. Lift that hip up and open, and then drop down. How does one side feel compared to the other side? Use that breath. As you're kicking that leg back behind you, feel your core firing up. Feel the glute fire as you lead through your heel for five, Nice work. Four. Three. Two. Awesome. Last one. Bring it back down. Out to the side one last time. Come back up. And then we're just gonna bring those knees a little wider, sink the hips back, bring those arms out in front. Take a nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Good, take one more nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. And we're gonna come down onto our back. So we fired up our glutes. Now we're gonna take either the block or the pillow and just put that underneath your hips. And you can do the same thing if you don't. We're just gonna bring those knees in towards our chest. So we strengthen our glutes, strengthen our core. Now we wanna relax that pelvic floor. Hands out to the side, gentle breath. Open those hips. So those hands come to the top of the shins. Just gently pull out towards the side. 
Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Awesome work. Let's take two more breaths. Exhale, let it go. Awesome, one more time. Exhale, let it go. Bring those legs back together. Place your feet back down on the ground. Gently roll onto one side. Come all the way up. Let's take a nice cleansing breath in. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. All right, awesome job with those exercises. Remember that it's really important for us to make sure we relax our pelvic floor muscles after we did a strengthening routine. And if you're wanting to learn more about building a strong core and pelvic floor foundation, I'm gonna put some resources down below in the description, as well as other ways that we can work together. I'd love to know down below in the comments too, which one was your favorite booty lifter? If you're new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you found this content helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it helps share this information with other people looking for similar info. Until next time, namaste.